G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I've got a Cedar Summit Pro single hammock. Now I bought this over four years ago and it's done many hundreds of kilometres with me out bush walking, overnighters and I've still got it. Now the total weight with everything I've got here in the pack is 716 grams. I've added a ridge line to it, and if I remember rightly, I've got the uh, organizer, ridge line organizer I've done. And that includes the tree straps to protect the trees, or your tree hoggers, and also the straps for the hammock, the hammock straps. Now it's made out of a ripstop nylon, and it's like a diamond stitch in it. The hammock on its own, without anything else, is 360 grams. The measurements are three meters by 1.5 which is 10 meters uh, 10 feet by five feet sorry it comes in i think three different colors but not certain and they sell it as a whole thing now where they used to sell it individually where you buy the hammock and you buy the tree, tree straps and then you buy the hammock straps to go with it the ridge structural ridge line i actually made to fit this myself the uh, ridge line organizer if it's in here if I remember rightly it should be I bought that from another company that's right I think it was hammock gear I bought that from I thought it, just a nice time over four years let's get it out put it up and we'll have another look over it now you can see at the end of the little stuff sack you don't have to take the stuff sack off. The buckle for the hammock strap is there, which you connect your buckle to. And that goes to your tree straps or your tree hoggers. We've got little buckles on here, so we just pull them back and do the straps. The tree hoggers or your tree straps, they do fit inside this bag too, but I had them separate for some reason. Ah, I said I'll use it on one of my other hammocks I've got. Inside, nice lightweight, easy to get to. No brittleness in the material. That seems all good, still now. And here's the hammock straps, two of them. And here's the buckle I was on about. So that connects to the tree strap that ends. And the other end here connects to the yeah, it connects to the hammock. So let's get it all put up. Tree straps, you can see they're nice and dirty. The tree straps, I've got a loop that you just push the other end through and pull it down. And that's the buckle on the other end, which connects to the hammock straps. Now when we connect this to the hammock, 
we've got a picture on there, I don't know if you can see it, of a tree and an arrow pointing up to the top of the tree. That means when you put that to your hammock, that buckle has to go that way, head into your tree strap or your tree. If you have it the other way, it'll then come and done join a night and you'll be on the ground. There's a buckle on your hammock, and the same on the one that's on the inside. So the actual picture of the tree and the arrow will be pointing that away from the actual hammock itself and sitting on top. But that's connected and I've got the picture of the tree on top and the arrow pointed towards the tree. Do the same with this one. Picture on top to go through the buckle and the arrow pointed towards the tree. These up now. On the tree straps, or the hammock straps, sorry, there's a blue, what would you call it, a, um, a ring, I'd say, and you just push that down and that locks it and helps it uh, to stop actually sliding out. And it's the same on that side too. Now it's not very camouflage colour, is it? Not natural, but I definitely get seen in that out here in the bush. Got the ridge line I made at the top. So that means every single time now I throw the hammock up, I don't have to mess around with leveling it. I'll just come to the buckles, give them a tug, and the actual structural ridge line 
holds it at the right length to give us a proper hang. Down we go. Get a creak in of the straps. this see it's not too tight there you can still bend it and there's the organizer pocket I had made let's bring you a little bit closer now so you can see start with the tree hoggers now this one because the tree smaller I've wrapped around twice before I brought it through the loop here and that comes down to the buckle and that buckle comes through the buckle here to the actual hammock straps it comes all the way down and you can see there again hopefully we've got the picture of the tree and the arrow pointing to the tree and there's that blue plastic locking thing just push up and that's it that stops it coming undone and we've got the bag, the compression safe that it comes in, all safe. We can put something in there and tighten it up. Turn the keys in there, or your wallet or anything. The beach line, which we made. Let's see where I passed it through and over. So it's actually holding onto the actual buckle itself, not just the strap. The ridge line organizer, one, two pockets, and go through so you can put things through there. And coming to the same, this end, the tree and the arrow pointing towards the tree. And that's actual straps, the connectors, the buckles, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if you can see that, but you can just see the square stitching here for the reinforcement how about that nice and easy don't have to get on the ground okay, we've got the ridge line here the one thing you've got to remember when you install a ridge line on such a short hammock is when you're going to sit up it's going to hit your head if it's a little bit longer that'll be higher and it all depends on how tall you are like excuse me if you're sitting here and you're six foot that's going to be down here on you so you are going to get caught with it but it just makes it so much easier to strap it up tighten the straps up yep nice tension get in all done don't have to worry organizer easy to grab on it it does block some of the winds coming through but not all of it you do feel the reduction in temperature as the wind blows across your back now I did have the double version of this and whenever I let in the double version there's so much material I can actually fold it right over me both sides and that was just a waste as far as I was concerned but this one you can see I've got a bit of material here nothing too much i'll flick it out of the way if i want to right, enough comes up the side here so i've got a bit of protection and it reduces the chance of the bugs biting me because that's going to be in the way now it is comfortable i'll give you that uh, it gives you just the right angle when you've got it set up to just look up i can see now the clouds is going across i can listen to the the birds going Yeah, it's just, it's just getting comfortable. I've got that sway to it. Now, I've had this over four years. Probably four and a half coming on to five years now. I've used it probably over six, seven hundred kilometres, maybe more. A few overnighters. I've been in the car and I've used it when I've gone out. It's, how can I put it, 
I've got four or five leather hammocks now I've bought over the, the last few years and, and each one is great for what I bought it for. Now I originally bought this for doing the Bibbulmun track. It worked fantastic where there's trees that you can use and when you get to shelter there's not always any trees there so if I've taken the hammock it's this one anyway it's, it's been difficult so I bought a second one with a built-in bug net which is the DD front line and that can be dropped down to the ground and used as a, a bivy so I can even put that in the shelter under the beds or up on the top bunk and I could just string the top out to hold the bug net away from me and I've got plenty of room in that so that's ideal for that situation this is ideal for if you know there's going to be trees and you don't have to use a shelter then you can just sit out similar to where I am now just looking up at the sky it's it's a really nice hammock for what it is quality wise like I said after four and a half five years it's as good as new there's no I, I can't see any damage to it even after using it for all those years the material itself hasn't degraded it doesn't feel like it's going brittle or anything like that at all it's still just nice and soft for what it is it's a great little it's a great little hammock like I said you can sit in it like I am now or you can lay back and relax and just rock Am I glad I kept this? Yes, I am. I sold the double one with the bug net and the tarp. I regret selling the bug net because that was a pretty decent one. It just sat nice on here and it just had a zip to get in and out. Yeah, it's, it's a, it is a nice hammock still now. The, the, the only thing in this environment, it sticks out like a sore thumb with it being blue because blue is not natural in this environment of the bush it is up in the sky but not down on the ground level or where your eyes can see when you're looking and walking so yeah that would stick out so if I want to go stealthy I wouldn't be using this colour they, they make two or three other colours I think one's the lime green green colour another one's a red um, I'm not sure if they make any more but I bought this individual, the hammock, the straps. They actually now sell it as a set. So I don't know how much they charge for it. I haven't had a look. I just thought I'd go out and I'd get this out and show it again and see what it's like and if I still like it and my thoughts on it. The truth is my thoughts haven't changed on it. I still like it for the situations that I can use it in. It's not a one fits all. I don't think you can get anything is like tents. You, you, if you're going to be doing a hike, and you, some will do one thing, some will do another thing, and you get something in between. So you just put up with the things that these individual tents don't do, and it's the same with a hammock. The hammocks, they all do their individual thing in a way. They, they've got a place. And I think the place for this one is if I'm going out in the car and I can pull up next to the tree and I can strap one end to the tree and strap the other end to the actual roof rack of the car and I'll be set up for the night. Uh, it can actually, it'll actually fit underneath my awning on the side of the car, uh, bringing it that way too. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, nice hammock. It, if you just want something where you're not going to use it like I do where you, you're in situations like this and you just want to merge in and you don't want to be sticking out and you just want to be a little bit stouty maybe another hammock with another colour but yeah I, I'd say it's still a nice hammock so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button Click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos. 
hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.